News Nation business analyst and New York Post reporter Lydia Moynihan joins me right now. I can say so far because we're still obviously just wrapping up the first quarter of the year. Uh, Amazon posting a three still a step in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? I'm like all the positivity. I'm for it. Uh, a three billion dollar profit for Amazon in the first quarter. So why in the world are they having 27,000 layoffs? Well, I think they want to continue to see those kinds of profits, not just this quarter, but next quarter and next year. And I do want to note they have a fiduciary duty to their shareholders, which means they need to create and generate the most profits. And a lot of their employees are also justified or paid not just with cash, but also with stock. And so when they're running an effective company and the stock price goes up, that benefits their employees as well. But I think a couple things have sort of changed in their ecosystem. Um, the first is that their business has changed. When I hear Amazon, I think of the e-commerce platform where I'm ordering a bunch of products on. But of course, they have a cloud business that's historically generated the most revenue for them. They're not making as much money in that business as they used to. Um, they're relying more on ads. So they're seeing their business change a little bit. And then the other piece of this is that Elon Musk took over Twitter and he showed that you can run a company with 80% less people. He fired 80% of the staff and Twitter. We can debate how well it's doing, but it still exists. And so a lot of people in the tech community looked at that and thought, I could probably fire a few people. <laughs> Slim down, like Elon Unfortunately, Musk. Unfortunately, yeah. What would Elon Musk do? He started do? a trend. All right. Thank you, Lydia. We should get those bracelets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if those would go as far as the originals. WWED, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Or WWEMD. Um, thank you, Lydia. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.